We're going to play a little game here at the show. First, we'll lighting shift, and now I'll introduce the game. The game is called That Being Said, where I read a quote and then ask a question based on that quote to a lucky audience member. John, have you picked an audience member for That Being Said tonight? Yeah, let's say I picked him. Oh, let's. Okay, I'll say it. You picked him. I did. And who would that person be? Well, I picked Mike Dardano. Mike Dardano? Mike Dardano, everybody. Mike Dardano. Come on up, Mike. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Doing, too. doing great. How are you? Doing great. Happy spring, Mike. Thank you. How, I, I, how is it going? This is a different way to ask the other question, but I'm trying to burn time. It's a little better than the winter. Just only a little. I agree. Yeah. It's the lack of snow for yeah, me. mostly. Great. Yeah. So. And the, the heat lamps are gone. Yeah, yeah, that sucks for the pigeons. Right, exactly. <laughs> Maybe next year. So, I'm going to read you a quote, okay. and then I'm going to ask you a multiple choice question based on that quote. Okay. Mike, are you ready? Is that teacher? Uh, no, he writes them, so oh, okay. yeah. He's going to be taking <laughs> notes, and you'll get a grade at the end of the night. Are you ready? All right. <laughs> Your first quote is, The average case should be able to be closed in an expedient manner. We're giving our investigators tools so that they can create a roadmap for themselves that will lead to their ability to close a case in a timely manner. This from Sharon Fairley, new chief of IPRA. IPRA, of course, Independent Police Review Authority. IPRA's job to investigate shootings by the Chicago Police Department. In the last nine years, Mike, how many shootings by police has IPRA found evidence of wrongdoing? Last nine years, A, 184 shootings, B, 56 shootings, or C, two shootings. Mike, we're gonna give you some music. <laughs> to think it over. You can ask the audience if you want. You can pull people. You can phone a friend if you have your phone on you. Uh, C, 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 I'm gonna have to go with C, two. C, two is absolutely yeah. correct. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> change is good. Your second question, Mike. Your second quote is, if you have a neighborhood where there's a high level of gang activity, the way to prevent it is you increase the law enforcement presence there and you target the gang members to get them off the streets. I'm talking about any area where there is a higher incidence of radical Islamic terrorism. If you couldn't tell from my horrible impression, that was Republican <laughs> presidential candidate Ted Cruz this past week saying that Islamic Neighborhoods should be patrolled more. Uh, just let them, let them be. So your Mike, Mike, your, your question based on this quote is, for the average American, how many times more likely is it to be killed by a falling piece of outdated infrastructure <laughs> than by Islamic terrorism? Is it A, 172 times more likely, B, 29 times more likely, or C, twice as likely? <laughs> let the music, let them play the music. Uh, I'm sticking for numbers. 172 times A. 172 times A is absolutely correct. Yeah. Mike, you got two correct. There's one question left. Are you ready? I'm ready. Excellent, because I'm going to do it either way. All right. Perfect. <laughs> Mike, your last quote is, I see we have more lines at the polls. I'm encouraged people are going out to vote. And should we have had more? Maybe so. That from Helen Purcell. Maricopa County recorder, who of course was in charge of setting up polling places in Maricopa County in Arizona, where people waited over five hours to vote last week. Five hours. So your question, Mike, is how many polling places were there for Maricopa's roughly four million residents on Election Day 2016? Four million people. A, 200 polling places. B, 60 polling places. Or C, two polling places. Mike. Dad always pick C. When did Dad always pick C? B. Final answer? <laughs> yeah, final answer. Final answer C. I'm sorry, that's not correct. Uh, it is actually B, 60 polling places for 4 million residents. But Mike, you got two out of three correct, so you win. Yeah. And Mike. You have won a $75 gift certificate to our good friends at Cantina 1910 in Andersonville. <laughs> Excellent little restaurant. Please enjoy yourselves and have a margarita Thank for you. me, will you? I will. Give it up for Mike, everybody. <laughs> well done. Well done, sir. And now, 
I don't know if you guys heard, but Cook County is the second largest county in the country. Did you know that? I didn't. So since it's the second largest county in the country, people pay close attention to population fluctuations. And it turns out that Cook County lost the most people of any county in the United States this past year. And so I've asked my writers to come up with a list of reasons.